way up there, so. And we can get Dark Up Kedron up there. Uh, can Danish, not Danish, can J Skags, can he get up top? He can. Excellent. This is exactly where I would want him. Boom, right there. So if we find any enemies over here, I'm going to want him up there. We're going to get, uh, going to get Space Wizard to uh, get in this spot right here. So we know there's no dudes there, so. She might see something, but I doubt it's going to ever get close enough to actually spot her if she goes there. And who else do we have? We also have Sarah. So we know, we know we can go all the way this way and be fine. Go, go, go. So we'll stay up top. I'm not going to go up there with her because I'm probably going to go up there if I can help it. We'll see. We'll see where the enemies are because I might be able to just stay here. If I can't see them because of the tower, then I'll just, I'll just get on the tower. You know what I mean? All right, and Misa Chang, we can move her all the way up to there. Already moving. Yep, there we go. And I think we're gonna put Rebecca right on. Oh, can we we could put her up here. Yeah, we're putting her right here, right in the middle. I don't care if it's low cover or not. I do not care. We'll get Traycon right here. I used to have to make sure he had he, that Traycon was always in the best spots. So that I could get that rocket on the enemy. Because, man, sometimes it was hard to finagle them things through all the cover and whatnot. Like, I remember literally having to blow up cover so I could get a rocket in there. It was ridiculous. Ugh. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Their clumsy patrol is yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the question. Can I see them with with uh, Shapira? Nugget! Can Nugget see them? That's the question I'm, I'm asking right now. Can she see them? Can she see them? Come on. Nugget, can you see? You can see that one. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking we just wait. We just wait. We wait for them to come to us. It looks like they're coming this way. So what we can do is we can get you off to the side. Oh yeah, look at look at that. Look at all them. Look at all them. Yeah. So I'm not gonna claymore. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna open well, we might claymore, just not right now. Um here's the thing, dude. If I do if I use a rocket and a claymore, it'll kill most of them. Right? The rocket will do how much does a rocket do? Six to thirteen, and it can crit. So we got to we got to remember that. And this does eight damage. Yeah, eight damage. So yeah, and he's up top. He's probably gonna be okay. He's probably not. I could shred storm them, but mm, I do want to compound boom. But it will kill most of them if I do. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it. It just it just I'm just stating this for the record. Oh crap. Oh dude, I thought I could. I thought it might reveal more of them, and I'm like, oh, it's gonna reveal me. It's like, no. <laughs> Could always. I haven't used a concussion rocket in forever. In forever. Um, and Doc is all the way in the back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use him to scan off to the side over here. Just came back to see this. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a good one. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely got those dudes off to the side. That's gonna be. It's going to be juicy. Okay, I do not want to be flanked by this dude this close. So, because I think we're going to have Ghost Walker. Oh, Ghost Walker's not on yet. Okay, so this is normal. It would be nice if it told me I had Ghost Walker active. Yeah, all I got is Fire Discipline. So I don't think it actually tells you if Ghost Walker is actually active on your character. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I really don't want to get that close. I want to get... Oh, look at that. He can't... The turret can't see me for some reason. Or it's considered... Oh, yeah, because of the side cover. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's an extra long-ass lag. Oh, because it revealed another enemy. Okay, good. I was like, what in the world is going on? Um, wait, you can hack something? What can you hack? Oh, the turrets. That's right. That's right. You can't see the turret. That's good, actually. Who can see the turret at this point? It's Jack, right? Yeah, Jack is the turret. Okay, all you guys are... No, you're not moved up. Okay, I'll Kedron here. Can... I can swing him out to the side. That's full. That's nice full cover right there. 
So Mitsu Chang can stay right where she is because she can, she needs she doesn't have salvo and I, I don't use them like that anyway. But I'm just gonna probably end up moving her up if she needs to. But I mean, as you can see, she could probably grenade well past where these dudes are gonna run. So she's got bombardier, so not the worst thing ever. Um, you two. The problem with these guys up here is that I want them to be able to shoot all these dudes, so I'm gonna have to wait till next turn to go on them, right? So I think we're going to keep Tracon right where he is. I could move him over here and put Skaggs right here. But I really like I really like having this high ground. You know what I'm saying? Height advantage is 10. Elite scope is 10. He's got 99 aim. So every little bit helps, right? Every little bit helps. So, But who would I put right here? I could put Dark Alkedron. I could move Alkedron to here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Got it. All right, sweet. Mitsu Chang. So we got full cover for Alkedron. He's going to have every Vigilant. We're going to leave Tracon right here. You're just chilling off to the side. And we're going to... You know what? Let's move you up a little bit more since we're not going to use a Claymore this turn. And they're probably going to get closer, so we should be fine. How is you? You can see a lot of these dudes. So... Can I see more from over here? <laughs> yes. Yes, and I and but unfortunately I can't see the turret. Hmm. I think that's gonna be okay. I think that's gonna be okay. I want us. I want to be able to see more of these guys. Snapshot. That's why. That's why. Snapshot. Yeah. Look at all these bonuses. Do, 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 do. Snapshot minus 100. Uh, snapshot here is probably what minus like 10 or something. Awesome. Snapshots minus 70. She's still got a 92% chance to hit. All right, my boys. I think we're going to take a break here for about 20 minutes or so. I'm going to go up and throw the break screen. I'm going to turn off the recording. And we'll be right back after these few messages, my dudes. Thank you for being here for this morning stream. I very much appreciate it. If you haven't followed, click that follow button, my dudes. I know we can get to 250, boys. We're on that road. And we can do it with legends like you. So we'll be back in about 20 minutes uh, with some more XCOM 2. Long War of the Chosen. I'll see you then, boys. Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the afternoon stream of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. Yes, we are back, boys, for our first actual afternoon stream of XCOM 2. Oh, it's going to be glorious. I think this is the first one where we've actually just done it in the afternoon and not just like a straight through from in the morning. Oh, and thank you there, Geek Boy, for that follow. I very much appreciate it, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are so very awesome. Oh, we're gonna take good care of you here, my dude. Take good care of you. Here. Okay, where were we, my dudes? So I had to go spend some, uh, take a break, rest my eyes, chill with the wife for a minute, kiss the kiddo, and now I'm back. I'm back, and we got coffee on the way, so the eye fatigue will not be too bad. Okay, but we were, where were the, where the hell were we? We were doing things, stuffing things. We were definitely doing stuffing things. Okay, yeah, that's right. So we're moving. So we moved Sarah to here, and I'm gonna steady her weapon. Just to make sure she doesn't freaking do something crazy. Let's see. We got Alkedron has moved there. He's done. Tracon, we're leaving here. Yes. Yes, there's no real reason to move him over here. You've already moved. Who do we have left? We have Sparky. Who, I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to be right where he is. Maybe we move him up one more to here. Yeah, we do that. So he's like right on the edge there. I love that he's just standing in the middle like, come at me, bros. Come at me. But, you know, unfortunately, gamified, I, I want to move him up as close as possible so he's got the best possible shot. He can only see that dude. He can only see that dude. Yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Now, where is Shapira? She, ah, there she is. She's in this tower. So how is the... Yeah, look at that. So she should actually be able to see the dudes in the back. She should be? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. We could see all of them right there. Yeah, so she should be able to actually see them. So hopefully, hopefully it will, it will work in our favor. Now, what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm probably going to end up blowing up this wing right here and trying to do something like that. So we definitely have a grenade. Dude, I could use an incendiary bomb and CC the crap out of them and just be just be a little shitlord. 
Uh, but I th the thing about it is, is I don't know if it's going to blow up that wing or not. So maybe we use, maybe, honestly, we might use a, uh, a Tracon bomb. I mean, most of them will die if I do Tracons plus a Claymore. Yeah, if I do if I do a blaster bomb plus a claymore, they'll probably all die. Except maybe the officer. Like it will annihilate them. So that's why I'm thinking maybe we just use a regular old grenade. I could also use a bombardment protocol. And if I'm touching the wing, it'll it'll blow it up. But I want to hit all of them and shred their sh shred their armor. Of course, I don't necessarily need to shred their armor if. If I'm going to be using Shapira to do that. Now, that will hit the wing. There's just no guarantee it's going to knock it off, right? So, yeah, we're just going to wait. We're going to hold. We're going to hold. Patience and planning will Hopefully, they, they, were, they were walking toward us. Oh, no, they're going to, they're going to turn away, aren't they? Are they going to go back the other way? I'm going to be very pissed if they go back the other way. <sighs> of course they are. Of course they are. Of course they are. Oh my goodness. No, don't run away. Well, this does mean that we can uh, move up a little bit and uh, probably take over this tower. Probably take over the ta this tower that's, a that's over here. This one right here. There we go. So if there's no dudes over here, which there probably are, let's be real. Let's be real, they probably are. Um, hmm, I could open this door. Is this the back of the map? Yeah, this is, uh, this is probably the I back of the map. Position. How are we doing there? Let's see, what do we got? We got, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty much the, yeah. <laughs> That's the back building. That's the back building. So there's probably some dudes in here. Nothing yet, huh? Is that was that the door that was broken? One back here. Does it look like it? I can't tell. So we can't see anything from here. I could get in here, but I and then I'd have to go over to the door to be able to see anything. When I could just I could just go here. So we opened up the door. Oh no! Misclick! No! Oh goodness! <clears throat> so I'm out of cover. That's. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it matters all that much for her, but still, it does matter. Okay, so I think, I think what we're gonna do, my dudes, is we're going to continue to hold. We can move Al Kedron right there. Is that who I want up there? See, I can get Shapira, right? We can get Nugget, because the closer I can get, the better Killzone's gonna be. That would be pretty amazing for Killzone. Um, the problem is she's going to be so close, they, especially if they come back, that it's not going to be nearly as awesome as I want it to be. So I'm going to need to do something maybe like this. Yeah, that's probably good. That's probably good all the way there in the back. And then I might be, and if they move away, I can then move up to this cover and uh, get the kill zone down this alleyway right here. So it doesn't look like there's anything over here. So I might want to go ahead and move Sarah up. Because I can only see one of the dudes now. And I might be able to grapple up top there. I mean, this might pull a, end up pulling a lot of crap. So I need to be very careful about what the hell's going on here. But we're probably not going to get discovered this turn. So I could just go ahead and move everybody up. And we'll get Skaggs right on this tree. That's such a great spot for him. Slow down. Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Tracon. Uh, let's see. Hmm, that's the nice spot right there. Maybe there. Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, let's get him right here. Cause it. Cause the thing about it is, is that even if they there's dudes like hiding behind, like Tracon can only see down this alleyway. He cannot. If they, if one of these guys is over here, he can't see them. So he can only see. He can see all these dudes. But look how many dudes he can't see. It's because they're right behind the tree. It's hilarious. So if they run over here, he won't be able to see them. So what that means is, is that I'm probably going to get Shapira to get right here so she can see all these dudes right there. Maybe. Depends on where they go. Depends on where they go. And I could make it all the way up there. That'd be interesting. Hmm. 
I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to leave him right where he is. Um, I could I could get him in there and hide him behind the damn thing. That, yeah, I mean, could be interesting because I can just hop through there, you know. You know what? I think I think that's going to be a nice little hidey hill right there. Now, it does mean that uh, overdrive is going to be needed to uh, do anything super crazy. That should be okay. Hmm. I kind of just screwed myself here now. I could put Alkedron right here. And then we can move Shapira there next turn. So, that's the thing. Or I can move Alkedron here. And move, yeah, yeah, we're just going to move Alkedron here. If they come back to me, I'll just deal with it. I'll just deal with it. And Mita Chang, I'll probably move her to right there. I'll make it happen. We'll get the, the Space Wizard. Hmm. He can, yeah, we, we definitely want another another spot up here so we can wrap on around there. Double time. And hopefully the, nobody comes from the other other side and decides to poke us in the butthole. That'd be great. That'd, just, that'd, that'd be freaking awesome. Let's, uh, let's ghost walk. All right. And I should be able to go straight through. So I can blue move to right here. Okay. Oh, crap. So we got Trooper, Elites. Oh, those are surveillance drones. Oof. So, so if you're wondering why I did this, this is, this is why. It's because I wanted to see what was behind these dudes. And it appears that I probably should... I mean, I could probably go here and I'd be fine. Right? Because these dudes probably wouldn't move close enough to see me. That's double cover. But if he gets seen, oh, it's super bad. <laughs> it's super bad. Like if they move, if they move this way and actually see him, I mean, it looks like he'd be safe. It really does, right? Because they usually move this way or that way. He's got Ghost Walker on, and I'm pretty sure this right here is these guys. This right here, his. It looks like his line of sight cuts off right here. So we actually should be fine there. Is that my last dude? He is my last dude. He is my last dude. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna quick save and I'm gonna try this. Moving. This is gonna be super duper Pucker it's Pucker Town, boys. That's what Weapons it is, Pucker Town. What do the arrows next to their little icons mean by the way? I've always seen them, but I never knew what they meant. The what do the arrows next to their little icons mean? You mean these arrows on the screen or are the arrows next to they're on their ability bar to go to the next page. They're page arrows down here. Or do you mean these? Because if you mean those, they're buffs that they have from like dark events, stuff like that. Anything that anything that augments them from their base abilities, that's what that is. Okay, so they moved off. So yeah, Jack's good. All the vipers are moving. So you met the little green one? Like next to their next to their actual character. Yeah, here I'll, I'll even show you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, check it out. Uh, do, do, do. I don't know if this is this the way it is in the regular game, in the vanilla version, but with the mods that I have, it is Jack. Let me just let me just pick Jack. Tab in to try to find someone. Yeah. So it's all of these bonuses. He's got one mobility. He's got five aim. He's got plus one armor and plus five defense. It is that way in War of the Chosen, yeah. And if you hover over them, you can just see their bonuses and, and stuff. So if they have negatives, too, you can see that. Like, I have red fog in it, so it would show on there how, how much their stats are lowered by how low their life is. Okay. So... I think, I mean, I can get right on this thing, dude. That is, that is pretty baller. That is pretty baller. So I think we're going to, I think we're going to hunt these guys down. I think that's what's going to end up happening here. Is we're going to get all my dudes <laughs> close enough to basically annihilate them. 
Ah, uh, you really don't need to be up there. Is there anybody that can go up there? I probably could have put him up there if I wanted to. But I can't no more. Can't no more. Uh, she can go up there. Yes. No, she cannot. She cannot. Maybe I can go here and go up. Moving. I was really worried about this open door too, but it's actually quite nice because they won't see me because I'm stealth. So if I, if I, if a pod does come back here, I'll see it before I can go and it'll let me know, you know, danger, 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 real Robinson, danger. And we're going to go, we're going to go here. I could go there, but I don't, but if they come back, they're going to spot her and they're probably going to take shots on her. So I'm, I think I'm going to take the cover. It's a bit awkward because anybody on this side, like where Jack is, will will get a flank. But as far as she's concerned, it should be fine. Yeah, he can't get up there no more. I may I made it dumb there. I probably should have ran up in there. Um, I can't get Shapira up in there. I can get Alkedron up here though. Yeah, but I can't get him all the way up here. Ah, that sucks. Can go here though. Which is better than what we currently have. You can't see anybody either, and I can get you up there, so. That might be best. Because they'll have good vision and whatnot. Tracon can get up here too, so that might not be so bad. That might not be bad at all. I'm going to have to get Jack out of there. Oh, Jack can't move! No! No! Jack! Get my boy, Blue. Get my boy. And, uh, yeah, you're pretty much stuck. Yeah, if I go here, they will see me if they continue that way. So this is this is good. This is good. Okay, so do I want Alkedron to move up? We can move up to the full cover here, which might be good. Because that way Let's he go. doesn't have to move and I got good cover. Meet your Chang, and we're gonna go probably to this now, nah, we'll go to this this yeah, we'll go to here, because she can she can move and then grenade, so she doesn't really need to need to have the good stuff. I wish I could get right there. That'd be so good if I could get right up on that. Oof. Okay, we're going to get the Space Wizard right here, and we're going to get Tracon right next to his ass. We're going to have the best vantage of points, boys. I guess Jack's just going to have to chill for a little bit. And uh, Dragon Nova here can see what's going on over this way. Moving as ordered. What do we got? We see anything? Aha! Turret. That's it. Well, ain't that a bitch. Um, there's the back wall. So is there really nothing in this room? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to this window. I'm gonna go to this window. We're gonna, we're gonna see what's up in there. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. I figured maybe the uh, the general would be back here, but it's, this is the motorcade, I guess. No reason for him to be there. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jack. I'm so sorry. Don't let go. Don't let go. All right, so I think we're going to overwatch. Oh, my goodness, dudes. Where are they going to go? Are they going to continue to walk away? No! Come back! Come back! I might just stay right where I am and hope they come back. Because they're transitioning all the way across the map. And these guys might come back. So, are they going to move? Okay, they're continuing to move away as well. That's what I'm wondering is, is if these patrols are just going to go back and forth. But I've definitely seen dudes like this like wander all across the map. And it's like if I stayed in this spot, it'd be like 15 turns and these guys would eventually come at me or something crazy like that. So I think we might just go ahead and go on them, all things considered. Hmm. Because we can do something like this. No time to spare. And we can get up here and scout and see what's behind everybody. And there's a turret. And that's it. So I believe there was a turret here or here and here. So yeah, that's that's okay. And what about Sparky here? Sparky, unfortunately, 
is trapped by these dot these dudes so he can go over here but as you can see i'd have to like hide right here or something uh we could hide right here and if they turn around they turn around and come back i doubt they're going to so i kind of want to go on them now but they're still so far away and I'm, I'm i am afraid to chase them especially because of these dudes right and there's a turret right here too there's a turret right here and a turret right here so i'm kind of thinking maybe i just wait but these guys are if they come all the way over here they're gonna see me they're gonna flank me and it's gonna be super bad super duper bad i'm gonna go here with shapira don't wait for me hmm. so i could take cover from them as well i mean we could totally do that because i can go here and we can get we can get tango up here and he should be safe from the uh from the dude bros there I should have put him right in front of Sarah, but whatever. I didn't. I was like, oh, I don't want him to be blocked, but she could just step out this way from behind, from behind his ass. Meet you, Chang. Uh, so we're probably gonna go into cover right here, so that way we got we got cover to them. Because I don't care if they discover us; they're not really gonna do much to us. I want to save my stealth for these bros. And Alkedron, do we get you up top, or do we just get you right in the middle of this nonsense? I kind of feel like we have to have cover, this double cover from these guys. So I think we're going to go there. It will, it will leave us exposed over here, but we'll be able to see it coming. So I also don't remember if these guys jump over this fence or not. And I wonder if this is going to be effective enough against them, if I'm right here. I could be here. Could be here. But I feel like that's going to limit my options as far as being able to hit these guys if I need to. I think I'm going to move up without catch on. Let's move. Yeah. All right. I think that's everyone. I think we're going. I think we're going to continue to follow them for the most part. We're going to probably chill right here for because <laughs> I want to leave Sarah up here. We we grappled up here. I want. I want to stay. I want it. I want it badly. All right. Let's Overwatch. I'm on it. I'm on it. On it. I think this is one of the best parts. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, they turned around. Sweet. Okay, we but we this we've got to go. We've got to go on this one. All right, so Now I hope these guys actually come back because then I can even I can probably cluster them even better. They probably won't, though. Un the unfortunate side effect of this is, is I'm probably going to end up losing Jack's stealth. Because he is well within their detection radius. I could actually wait for them to come back this way. But they'll also come back. So this might be the time to go, right? Because... Thank you, love. Oh yeah, my boys. Afternoon coffee. It's the best, the best part of waking up. Mm. All right. So here's the thing: if we if we wait, we draw the enemy in, right? And Jack has one turn until he's got Ghost Walker. Okay, so we could probably wait one more turn. We could probably wait one more. And I'm gonna move you to here. I go where I'm needed. So that we can get that claymore, just boom with the one shot. Because I want to do that just to make sure if there's anybody left, I can execute them with her. These drones are over here, so we we might have some issues with that. So I think I'm gonna go. I think I, yeah, I don't know, man. If they come over more, they might see him. I am worried about that. I am actually worried about that. It won't be the worst thing. But it will suck because I want to save this for uh, this turn. Well, yes, yeah, you can only see two of them. So I do want to move up more. I do want him to move up more. So, you know, he doesn't have to be all the way up here. In fact, but with my barbet protocol and all this other stuff, he definitely doesn't. So I am going to move him. I'm just going to move him over. That way he's more hidden. Stay in contact. Min maxing the shit out of everything, boys. I can't. <laughs> I can't help it. Not going to stop. Never gonna happen. 
All right, I am going to move to full cover here, though. Strictly business. Ooh, okay, that might not have been the best idea. Maybe here. Yeah, let's do that. I guess those guys. Just in case. Just in case. And you guys are good. You're good. J Skaggs, do I want to move you? I really can't move you up anymore. I can move to here, but, I mean, that explodes, so let's not. Burhead, Tracon. All right, we're good. Let's roll. Hopefully one of these guys doesn't, you know, walk over this right here. Because that'd be really bad. We got Ghost Walk next turn, so I'm hoping they just continue to walk this way ever so leisurely, and Jack can just Ghost Walk and go do 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 do. Oh my God, the 15 FPS. Ugh. Ugh. What? No! No! Damn. Should have moved him back. Wow. No kill zone! No kill zone. That sucks. But... Ooh, the damage! Aw, oh, Skaggs, buddy. So, I mean, while it's not the best, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Look at the Overwatch, baby. Oh, so good. So good. Is he going to live? He's going to live. Damn you, sir. Oh, they didn't see. They didn't see Jack. Holy crap. Holy crap. Wow. Okay. Not bad. Hunker down. Overwatch. When are you going to take a shot? No, we got other dudes. Aha. He didn't lose his... He didn't lose his stealth. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's real good. All right. Does she have flanks on anybody? Yep. Right there. Got a flank on that dude. And looky there. Now, to be fair, the flames are probably going to kill him. Um, hunkering down does not does not remove fire. So, how much does fire do? It says one damage, but it says he also takes rupture. So, I'm, I think that goes up to two. So, he should be dead. We're gonna we're gonna test that out. I mean, if, even if he isn't, it's not like he's gonna be able to do much. Uh, being on fire and what 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 not. So these two idiots are back here. That kind of sucks. What does Jay Skaggs have? So we got an Overwatch. 69. That's full cover. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Not good. Not good. Not good shots. But that's okay. That's okay. I think we'll be just fine. Especially with Sparky here. Because Sparky's got collateral damage. Sparky can blow some shit up. So I think we're going to go ahead and bombard my protocol. I don't need these supplies, but what I do need is for... I don't actually think that's going to work. Because if I bombard my protocol, look how small it is. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to blow up. Well, it might. It might. Let's do it anyway. Let's see. If I need collateral damage, I'll knock it out with collateral damage. But I think it destroys everything it touches. It does. Except the wing. I didn't I didn't check the wing. Well, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. We got an 89 there as well. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. What does Sarah have? 100%. Yeah, that's no big deal. Just not, just hundreds. No, no, no problem at all. Okay. I'm totally doing this with her. I'm totally doing this. She has she can shoot four times. So, what does she have? Does she have she has a regular old pistol? Looks like she's got a regular old pistol. She's got a regular old pistol. Okay, good. So, we're gonna... Which one do I shoot? See, we got a hundred with all of these. Okay, and how much HP do you have? 14? Yeah, I can kill you. I cannot kill you. But is that squad sight? Yeah, that's a squad sight. I can... Okay, I can dead eye. So, if I want to dead eye and kill you, then... What are we looking at? 
I mean, that's a that's a kill, yeah. 20, 24 minimum damage. So, yeah, we'll we'll probably be able to do that. 3% chance to graze, so... But if I do that, that'll cost, that'll cost me a pistol shot. So, I don't think we need to really worry about a shield bearer just chilling in the back. Maybe. Because I can kill at least two of these dudes. Now, let me see. If I pistol shot you... Seven to nine. Yeah, he's got two armor. What do, what, 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 what do you got? Flechette? Flechette rounds. So all these dudes have armor. So she's not doing any extra damage to any of them. Damn. Damn it, Bobby. Hmm. Doesn't shred armor. So that's that's the thing. Uh, we could. Let me see here. 96. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. You got... Uh, We've got saturation fire, but we can only hit these two. What's your chance on the dude in the back? It doesn't say, because you can't see him. Hmm. Oh, man, I wanted that kill zone so bad. Dude, I was, think, I'm, I was actually thinking about just loading it right there. I was actually thinking about just loading it right there. Uh, I mean, we can... Ooh, okay, so we definitely got the CC here. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna make that happen. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's a misclick. I was gonna insanity the one in the back. Cause she was on fire. Well, how about that? That's that's just great. That's just, look at all the look at all the look at all that. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Goodbye cover. Goodbye cover. That's one heavy hitting pistol. Yeah, it is, it is. Still not heavy enough though. If she had the Dark Claw, it would uh, pin all their armor, so we wouldn't have any problems with that. And looky there. Looky there. It's another dude you can kill. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't have any cool, like, double shooting abilities, so, like she does. Now, getting a kill with the pistol is not going to really do anything for me. Yeah, look at this. 9 to 11 damage. Because he doesn't have any armor. Lightning hands, baby. Boom! Yep. Yep, that revealed her. That revealed her. She also has, like, really good chance to hit from... from Because she's got Shadow Strike. So, now I'm going to Deadeye. Oh, that's why her Deadeye had 100%. Aha! That makes a whole lot more sense now. Alright, so... You've got 71. Are you... So, a regular shot is 71. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. Now, these two did these two idiots. See, you've got 10, so I could execute these guys. What about this guy? So you got that guy? What is he? 74. Good rapid. He's not squad sight, so I can see him. So I could just hollow target and then shoot him normally. So I think we're going to do that. Yeah. So instead of using the pistol, I'll hollow target him, shoot him normally, get death from above. Because these drones aren't really going to do much. They, they might stun me and all that other stuff, but they're, they're not, they're not going to kill any of my dudes. They're just going to be annoying. So now we have a 94% chance to hit him. But she won't it, baby. Oh, right in the face. Right in the face. Yes, right in the face. 71, dude. I want to shoot that. I want to shoot that. Can we kill these other bros without her? That's the question. I don't think I could get... I can definitely get you. 10 to 14. Yeah, we might be able to kill him with the first shot. Maybe. Maybe. Who else do we have? I don't want to reveal you. We also got you. 80% chance. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Even if it doesn't if it doesn't kill him, dude, it'll shred his armor. Ooh, laying him down. My point. Laying him down. Yeah, 27 damage. Exactly. Exactly. So, hell, we could do this. And the problem is, is that if I was going to do this, I could have killed them both with pistol shots. As funny as that is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, we could shoot him. Hey, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. It's a lot of armor. What's that? 97? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of damage. Uh, screw it. Let's do it. It's a good shot. 
And he's got a lot of armor. Yeah, look at that. See what I mean? And we grazed. So there you go. That's why she has a stock, boys. That's why she has a stock. Oh, I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Let's see what we do. Oh, 14. That's not bad. Not bad. It did hit the plate. It did indeed hit the plate. Now, Jay here could probably kill this dude. Mmm, juicy. Juicy! 73% there, bud. 73. You think you can take him down? Can you take him down, boy? Mmm. <laughs> yeah, he got it. He totally got it. All right, now we move up. Let's move we take our positions of victory. All right, so there are snicker snicks back here, yes? Pretty sure there are snicker snicks. So Jack is going to go get this loot. Hold on, Not that I really need it, but if it's cores, I want it. So that way I can build more stuff. Elite scope, don't care. <laughs> don't care. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what I really don't. Oh, that's out of cover. That's That's really bad. That's really bad. Ugh. Advanced perception. That's actually not too bad. The most I've done in vanilla is like 21, and that's with a critical hit. I think 48 is the highest I've seen, and that's just because I, I was I, the, the target was ruptured. I had bonuses to damage because of you know reasons. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been it's been pretty hardcore. I quite like it. Now this might burn down, so I might want to not move there. Let's go. Let's go here. And then what I think we'll do is we'll just get uh, we'll just get Reaper here to scout. I didn't see anything over here, so doesn't mean there isn't anything over there. But uh, I really wish he had scanty balls. That's for damn sure. Now what is this? Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here. Oh man, that was misclick. I am misclicking all over the place today. There they are, the general. That's where it is. That's it, boys. That's it. All right, so we know where they are. So I'm going to... I kind of want to go back to where she was. I'm going to go here. We should be able to see... Oh, yeah, there we go. An Elite Spectre. What is that? An Elite Spectre. Two Elite Spectres and a Muton. Okay. Not terribly afraid of regular old Mutons no more. Not terribly afraid. Let's go ahead and get that reload. Might as well. If I'm going to overwatch something, I want that reload. And I feel bad. These guys might come into line of sight. And I feel like you are inadequately covered. I shouldn't have moved you to there. So let's go to here. You might be caught on fire, but we'll fix it if, if, it, if it happens. All right, that's it. I think that's it. On it. Scanning. And that's how it's done. That's how it's done. You can, I've, I've taken some very desperate situations where I'm just completely surrounded by enemies, pulled like 16, 17 dudes, and by the end of it, it's like maybe two or three make actions <laughs> just because of, oh, oh, that's where Jack is, isn't it? Oh, no, it's Dragonova. That's so bad. That is so very bad. Oh, that is so bad. Okay, she's out of cover. So if I ghost walk, will that help me? No. No, it will not. It will not save you. It will not save you. Damn it. And they're about to walk right over that, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. So, <laughs> the problem is, is I think she can see the general. She cannot. Okay. That's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. So, I guess we'll just end up overwatching her. There isn't much I can do about it. Other than move my dudes up to aggro them already. And I don't think that's going to do any good. Although it will give me tactical analysis. So that might be worth it, right? So if I pull them with these dudes, it might actually be worth it, right? Because I can... Let me see. Do these dudes... Viper Elite. Lightning Reflexes. Sectoid Commander. Sidewinder Elite. Shadow Step. So it's not... It's, not, it's definitely not going to work on these dudes. And they got Lightning Reflexes. 
the trooper. So yeah, a lot of these dudes are not going to respond to Overwatch, like the the snakes and the specters. So even if I were to set an Overwatch trap next turn for when they reveal us, it's not gonna it's not gonna really help overly much. And if I move her up and like kill zone these dudes, it might work. But they had to, they'd have to run toward us, right? Yeah. So she's gonna get seen next turn. That is going to happen. Do I leave her out in the open? Is that what I do? That's the question, right? Do I leave her out in the open? Because there's, I don't think I, can, I, I can't get her out of there. I can't get her out of there. The, the least I could do is get Jack and get him stuck in as well. So that as soon as she gets revealed, they scatter and they just, he just melees the crap out of everybody. Hmm. Because, like, I can move Sparky to right here, and we can Overwatch. And that'll get a Muton and a Trooper and two Sectoids. But these these Snakes, they'll be able to take shots. The Mutons, they'll be able to take... They're, they're not the Mutons. The Spectres, they'll be able to take shots, essentially. And they do, they, do some, they do some damage. They do some damage. So they could kill her. Possibly. Possibly. So I think I will just move Sparky up, and we'll just... Uh, who can you see? Well, that's something we could do. Sidewinder Elite, so you have Shadow Step. Elite Spectres both have Lightning Reflexes. You don't. Viper Elite. Sidewinder Elite. So Shadow Step, yeah, so they're not going to respond at all to any of that nonsense. So my best bet with Nugget here would be to... Hmm, maybe like move up to here. Even if I even if I did get it, it wouldn't work. I just need to do something with like saturation fire. Look how far I can go from here. So we'd have to like move up to cover. That's exactly what we'd end up having to do. So what I should do is I should take Sarah here and I should execute somebody. Like one of the dudes who doesn't respond to Overwatch very well. I have dead eye. The Spectres, I gotta admit this, they're not that they're not actually that bad. And the reason that is, is because they will, next turn, they might not even, they probably won't even take a shot. They'll probably just move. Or try to, if they're close enough, they'll, you know, make a copy of her and then run off somewhere. So as long as I end up killing the specters, next turn, we should be fine. The trooper would be fine. So honestly, I think we should just kill the snakes. And uh, I'm pretty sure I can with Deadeye. So, we can kill a Spectre. With the, we can kill a Spectre, too, but they're not nearly as, um, as mean. And not only that, if, if, I, if, I pull, if I wait to pull them next turn, that will be better than if we pull both of them next turn. So, if we pull these guys this turn, we should be better off. Should be better off. Mark my words, we should be better off. Oh, 34! Who's keeping score? Damn, girl. Yeah, she wants it. She wants it. Now, you see how far they didn't move up at all? Mm-hmm. Let's get that reload. Okay, this is not going to be the greatest. Yeah, 24. It's, <laughs> it's definitely not on these guys. That's for damn sure. Um, if I move up, we'll get the mutons. I can't... Ooh. Oh, but it's flanking. Come on, man. Come on. I want that flank. Go, dude, I want that flank. Uh, the Sectoid got a huge 2,000 brain IQ. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Straight through his dome. Straight through his dome. Cause she does not have any of that. So what we could do... So hear me out here. Hear me out. Uh, do we have any good targets for this? Any explosives that I'm not... Nope. We do have Banish. So, uh, But we could Claymore this dude and blow up his cover because we can we can claim more and then shoot it maybe <laughs> maybe uh, if we move to here we'll have good shots although although I can I can move up and do collateral damage and that way we can get us get the sectoid out in the open I don't know if um, 
I don't know who's really going to have a good shot other than Sarah. Uh, but she's not going to have a good shot either. I mean, look at this. 34? Yeah, that's not, that's not a good shot. That's not a good shot. So... Hmm. Hmm. Skaggs, does Skaggs have a shot at all? No, he does not. And if I move up for the flank, I'll either pull the turret or I have to stand out in the open to get the snake snake. Can I get the snake snake from here? No. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much stand out in the open to get the snake snake. All right, so if I move you here, aha, there we go. So I can move there and give Jay Skaggs cover from the other snake snake. Okay. What about my grenadier here? My grenadier can move up. Yeah, that's another, that's that's the problem, right? It's um, the ability to actually hit these fools. So I don't know if I because if I move here, it's going to pull them, right? It's not going to pull them. Okay. We're going to take it. We're going to believe that. We're going to believe them. We're going to believe them. And I can do this. Boom. We can blow you up. What kind of shot is that going to give me? You can't see anybody, so i got to move you up anyway, and that's going to pull them if I do. Unless I move you here, which you still... You can see all three of them from right here. So if I move... You can only see two of them from here, and it's the Snake of Snakes. You can see the Snake of Snakes. So if I moved... If I move Tango to right here... Move here. We're going to do it. I don't think he can see the turret. Please, God. Please don't see the turret. Okay, we can't see the turret. We can't hack the turret. So we got a pretty good shot there. And you can't see crap from right there. Okay, so you still got to move here. That's fine. That's fine. Um, you can't do anything. So I'm just going to end up probably moving you up as well to maybe here. We're going to have to see what we can do. We're going to have to see what we can do. I might end up having to use some uh, some ordnance more than I want to. But here's the thing, right? If I do... Oh, we don't have bombardment protocol. We got this. Right? So, okay. So maybe what we do... All right, check it out. Check it out. I'm going to do... I'm going to do this to the snake. I want to hit the snake too. Come on now. Come on. Let me hit the snake, snake. Let me hit the snake, snake. Snake, 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 snake. Come on, where are you, dude? I swear to God, we could hit him. I saw it, man. I saw it. I totally saw it. I, I guess not. <laughs> He's uh, impervious to damage at this at this level. Um, let's see what happens if I do this. Will it blow out the entire cover? Oh, it destroyed the whole tower. That's hilarious. He's still got low cover, though. What a bastard. What a bastard. Now, here we go. Now we've got something to work with. So, we've got command. Who is your dude? Is it the... It's Tango. Okay. Okay, so... I'm going to do this and hopefully blow up that cover. Well, I don't actually need to blow up the cover. I just need to do damage to the sectoid, right? What's your chance to hit the sectoid? 55, so I need to blow up the cover. <laughs> All right, boxes. Grenades versus boxes. Let's see who shall win. Let us see. I'm going to put it right on the box. Right on the bottom of the box. Is that a nuclear launch I detect? Or are you just glad to see me? Girl, you know I'm always happy to see you. Eleven HP. So now, Dragonova, being the awesome, amazing, stunningly brave woman that she is, can go precision shot, and then we can do this. 85%, 7 to 13. I'm going to save scum, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Oh, here it goes. Oh, no. What's the roll? What's the roll? No! Oh, man, dude. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. That is so very bad. The 85% failure. 85% failure. Well, shh. 
shnikes. He's dead anyway, so... He's just dead next turn. Um... Well, crap. I can't do anything with you. Who can you Who can you do? Doc? Okay, so we can actually do some cool stuff with you. So I can go here and take a flank there as well. Take a flank shot. Skag's here. Still can't hit that dude. Wow. Wow, I've, I, I severely messed that up. Okay, well. I think I'm going to have to move to to here. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit both of them, even if I move here. I'm still going to move here. We're going to get that flank. We're going to get that flank. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. Doc, I, I made a severe misstep with the, uh, with the Reaper there. There's nothing I can do about it either. So we got 97 here, but we're probably not going to kill. That's the problem. Who is your dude, bro? Your dude, bro, is Doc? Yeah, we can't do that. It'll break stealth. And if I saturation fire, I, I cannot act. Oh, I can. What's your shot? 62? Sounds like fun. Come on, girl. Oh! Oh, and the, and the cover's down! The cover is down! Skaggs comes in for the kill. Oh, baby. Give it to me now. That's it. That's it. Implacable. Now we're locked on, boys. We're locked on. Um, That's going to give me the turret, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so... Hmm. I kind of want to run in with you. Because it will, get, will distract these guys. We can get where the muton can't see me. Ooh, look at that. No one can see me there. Let's go there. Oh, that might be bad. We might have pulled the big dude. I think we pulled the big dude. Yep, we pulled the big dude. Wow. Wow, yep, we pulled it. We pulled it. Oh, it's a super heavy turret. No, no big deal. No big deal. It's just going to murder my guys. Oh, and the full squad. So that was right. Wow, okay. That's uh, super bad. It's very bad, in fact. Very bad, in fact. Um, well, crap. Hmm. Damn. We're kind of screwed. We are very screwed. Um, I could probably... There ain't much I could do about that. I mean, even if I hit him, it's not really going to kill him, right? 22% chance. So I could rapid target, but I'm not sure it's going to be worth it. Who else do I have? What do I have? I have you. So I could, we could do this. What's the, what's the regular hack? 100% chance to shut down? Hmm. Let's, uh, let's incoming. Hold position. So this is bad, and I might end up having to reload it, but uh, you know what? Damn it, we're going we're gonna to try to finagle it. Cause we got we I mean we got uh, we got we got this look at this look at this I got the EMP bomb and we've got uh, we got this stuff so this guy's probably not gonna be able to get into range these guys are gonna be a problem here in a little while so what I'm thinking is is we do this <laughs> we just we just send this in and just go skaboosh and just blow them all to hell oh I can almost hit all these guys hmm I can't actually hit them. I can't actually hit them all. But we could do this. And I could drop. I could probably... Dr well, he'd still be... He'd still be... What I was thinking is I could drop him down to the ground and he'd be behind this wall and have to come back out. But uh, that'll blow the entire wall up. So if I'm going to do that and I've got both my things, I might as well just use the Bunker Buster and just, you know, open this place up. But I think I want to do that next turn when they're all next to the wall. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna leave Tracon right where he is. Or maybe we, we could move up and prepare for next turn. We could do that, especially if we get that hack. Okay. Okay, so if we're gonna go for the hack, what else do we got? We got Skaggs moving for implacable. Tracon I think I'm gonna actually give him who's your dude? Oh, okay, it's Nugget, never mind. Um who's Tracon? Who's uh, Skaggs? It's Tracon. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, so maybe we do just move up next turn. All right. And I could give you, I could give uh, Skaggs another shot. 
I could actually give him give him a freaking reload. Because I don't know how I'm going to kill that dude. The sectoid is dead. The sectoid is going to die. This dude, on the other hand, is probably not going to die. Alright, we're going to give the full override a shot. Uh, what Do I want to give Tango another, another shot at this? Teamwork. Expect no mercy. That's freaking teamwork! Oh yeah, dudes. Alright. Okay, bud. Oh, we got adaptive overdrive. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're doing that. Yep. 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 Yep.